The movie opens up by showing us four friends. They were sitting in a restaurant. There were three boys and one girl in their group. One of the boys is named Mike. They were talking with each other that Halloween is coming so why don't we mistreat others? Mike says that, like always I will bully Jacob. I will torture him. Jacob was an innocent boy. Mike used to tease him every year. Hearing this plan their female friend forbids them. That you should not tease others like this. What is Jacob's fault you people tease him every year? Welcome to movie land. Appreciate our efforts by subscribing and turning on the notifications. It helps us a lot. Spoilers ahead. Mike says that your question has your answer. We tease him every year and now we are habitual of it. You don't know it will great fun to tease him. That girl also forbids her best friend who was present in that group. That you will not do this. But when Mike does not obey her she leaves from there. Then we see that Mike and his friend have eaten food. Then they go to the manager to pay the bill. The manager asks them if Halloween is coming. What are your plans for Halloween? Mike tells him that we will torture a boy badly. We will have great fun. The manager also shows his interest. He says I also want to know, I want to see how will you torture him. Mike refuses and says that no this is my and my friend's plan. That manager requests him. At last, Mike agrees to take him with him to torture Jacob. Now let us know who was Jacob. He was a mental boy whose brain doesn't work properly. He couldn't think more. He loves to eat candies. He likes corn candy the most. He used to hold that candy with him in a pumpkin basket. He goes to a festival. He was there as a worker. So, the owner of the festival asks him to do the work hard with his full hard work. So remember don't do such activities which can become the reason for our insult. Then that owner says that the show is about to start so get ready. But as Jacob comes outside, Mike and his friends were standing in front of him. They start teasing him. But Jacob was irritated by bearing all this. He pushes Mike in his defense. So that he can't harm him. But Mike gets aggressive. He starts beating him badly. His friends were also beating him. Due to it, Jacob dies there. Their female friend of Mike was also seeing this all happening. Because she was standing there secretly, but she was nervous. How can they take someone's life? Then we see that when Mike and his friends go home. They were not regretting that they had taken someone's life. Because they say that there was Jacob's fault. We torture him every year and he bears our torture. But this year to protect himself he pushed me. So can I be angry? This means they were so cruel. On the other side, we see that their female friend of Mike feels bad for Jacob. When the owner of the festival sees that someone had killed Jacob. He gets aggressive how can someone kill my worker? He was a good hearted man. He lifts Jacob's body and takes him inside. He puts a mask on his face. After it, he performs a ritual. Due to it, the soul of someone comes into Jacob's body. Now the injured Jacob becomes revived. To take revenge for his murder from them. On the other side, we see that the female friend of Mike goes to the sheriff of the town. She tells him everything that who killed Jacob and how they kill him. Hearing it, sheriff says okay I noted, it but still I didn't receive any report about it. But when sheriff comes to know that. His son was also included among those persons who tortured him he didn't believe this. That I am the sheriff and how my son can do this. He directly goes to the owner of that festival. He asks him where is Jacob. What has happened to him? That owner says that they misunderstood that he is dead. He was injured and I have sent her home to take some rest. That was the truth, we can't count Jacob's death after this action of that owner. The sheriff goes to Jacob's house and knocks on the door. But when none opens the door he returns. Then we see a female friend of Mike, her friend comes to meet her. He tells her that sheriff has done an investigation. He comes to know that Jacob is still alive. Hearing it, she gets calm and thanks God he is alive. Then we see the manager who killed Jacob along with Mike. He was telling someone that my Halloween was so good. I had a lot of fun for the very first time. After it, he goes to the washroom and there was the pumpkin basket. There was corn candy in that basket. He was about to eat it. Meanwhile, Jacob arrives there. Jacob kills him badly while tearing his belly. This means he has taken revenge on his one murderer. Sheriff also arrives there and starts investigating. Candy corn was spread everywhere. When Sheriff investigates he comes to know. That manager was also included in the group that tortured Jacob. He gets suspicious that it was done by Jacob. Jacob had killed him. Their female friend of Mike was also there and she came with her best friend. The Sheriff also tells everything. They tell everything to Mike and his friends. Mike says that it is not possible that Jacob murders someone. He has no courage. If he had the courage he could save himself. And maybe some enemy of the manager killed him. It's not necessary that it was Jacob. They all agree with him that maybe that was just their thought. But as they leave the house of Mike's friend he feels strange movements. When he moves forward he also sees that pumpkin basket. He gets surprised that how it comes here. Meanwhile, in this shock, Jacob attacks him. He places him on the wall and pulls his spinal cord with his hand. Due to it, 
he immediately dies. On the other side, we see that Sheriff was suspicious of Jacob and that these murders are done by Jacob. He again goes to the owner of that festival. That owner says that I have told you that he was injured and I have sent him home for rest. They were talking meanwhile, a police officer comes there. He tells Sheriff that Mike's one more friend is killed. When Sheriff goes there, he also finds corn candy there. Now the suspicion of Sheriff had become truth. He goes to Jacob's house. But he didn't find Jacob there. When he sees under his bed he finds a strange dead body. That was an old dead body. That was the dead body of Jacob's mother. But there wasn't any concern about this dead body from the other murders. Sheriff himself goes in search of Jacob. He asks his son Mike to stay at home. And don't come outside because there is a danger to your life. Sheriff stops the festivals, carnivals, and events of the whole city. He asks everyone to stay at their homes. Hearing it, they all get angry. The staff of the owner of the festival also becomes aggressive with him. That you are hiding something from us. This is happening because of you, how will we earn? Then one of the men named Bishop meets with the owner of that festival. Does he say that whatever you are doing? Is all right? Whatever you will say I'll believe you. That owner says yes I am doing all right. The people like us the average people are always being tortured. Rich people like Mike used to torture us. They are habitual of this. To tease others and hurt them. Mike and his friends killed Jacob. I only make him revive so that he can take revenge for his murder. So you tell me is it wrong? This thing also reveals in front of the staff members of the owner. They agree to support that owner. Because he was speaking the truth. We have to take steps against the people who torture others. Then we see that the female friend of Mike and her friend were at a place. That girl goes inside for some time and when she comes outside. She sees the dead body of that boy. She couldn't understand what was happening. Meanwhile, Jacob follows her. He pulls out her tongue. Due to it, she also dies. At that time, the sheriff also arrives that the place was where that female and her friend. To check that are they alright? When he goes inside he sees their dead bodies there. He understands the whole thing. He calls his son Mike. He says that all your friends are killed. So you don't come outside of the house and stay in your home because now Jacob will kill you. But Mike gets aggressive. He moves out of his house to that carnival's place. So that he can ask the owner what is the problem. But then a man of that owner makes him faint. When the sheriff reaches home and he searches for his son but he couldn't find him there. He sees the owner of that festival there. He points a gun at him and asks where is my son? But Hen Bishop comes behind his back and makes him faint while attacking him. Then moving forward the owner separates his head from his body with a knife. Due to it, he dies. Now we see Mike when he opens his eyes he sees that he is tied to a chair. There is none around him. He is helpless. Then he sees the car of the sheriff coming from a far distance. To see his father's car he becomes happy. That my father comes to save me. But this was his misunderstanding, his father wasn't in that car. His head was upon the car. Cut off the head, Mike starts crying while seeing his father's head. He knew that he will also be killed because his father isn't there. Everyone is killed, and nobody's left. Then Jacob comes in front of him. After torturing him he will kill him. He separates his arms from his body. Then he takes out his teeth one by one. Like this, he kills him while torturing him. The scene changes and we see the owner of that festival. He was doing his festival in the other city. There he gives a necklace to a girl. That was made by the teeth of Mike. He was telling her about Jacob. That girl says that I didn't believe this. That is how he becomes revived and how he kills others. So, that owner tells her that some peoples take others life for no reason. To make them learn a lesson Jacob was revived. Then in the last scene of the movie, we see that Jacob was sitting in his house. While wearing that mask. And he was eating his favorite corn candy. With this, the movie ends. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching.